Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite cool tone smoky eyes that I've ever filmed. And this is perfect for this time of the year. You can wear this for Christmas or for New Year's Eve or any special occasion you wanna wear it for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the color Soft Ochre and just applying this all over the eyelid. This removes the redness from the eyelid and it will also make my eyeshadow more long lasting. Then I went in with a matte white shade and use this underneath the highest point of my eyebrow. This will make the transition from the colors I use in my crease towards my brow look even more pretty. Then I use some brow gel. I always do this after using a powder underneath the brow. And then I went in with this grayish matte color from a palette which is by Be Perfect Cosmetics. I will put the name of the exact palette that I used in the description bar. But this is just a simple matte gray color and i'm just blending this all the way in my crease going from the inner corner to the outer corner just blending this all over Then after that I went in with this darker grey color and started blending this in my outer V and also making circular motions a little bit upwards. And then with whatever's left on my brush I'm also blending this more towards my crease area but I wanted most of this eyeshadow in my outer V area. So I just continued to blend, blend, blend and then I went in with this matte white color and I'm gonna apply this in the inner corner of the eye. It's the same color that I use for underneath the brow bone. And I'm just gonna try to apply as much as possible because I really wanted a transition that goes from my inner corner towards my outer corner from light to dark. So I really wanted the white to really pop. Then I went in with this loose pigment from Inglot, which is so pretty. I will put the name in the description bar. I will be also using another color from Inglot. I feel like they're a little bit hard to work with because every time I use them, I have a lot of fallout, but they are so freaking beautiful. So if you do use them, I would say first do your eyes and then your face makeup. So you still have the time to remove everything that falls on your face. <laughs> So then I went in with this color and applied this on the center of the eyelid, also slightly applying it on top of that first color that we used to kind of melt these shades into each other. And then I went in with this gel eyeliner from Maybelline, which is the studio gel eyeliner, and using this to create a line above the lash line. I'm doing a line above the lash line, but at the outer end I'm going up a little bit upwards and then with a little bit of matte black eyeshadow I'm gonna smudge it out even further and just kind of smudging it out and trying to make it fade into that grey shade that I have already in my crease. And I also wanted a little bit of a smudged winked effect. So first I used a little bit of concealer underneath this area to make it look more smooth. And then I went back in with my brush to make the, the wing a little bit more divine, if that makes sense. Then I went in with this Smolder Cosmetics Silver Glitter. First I used a tissue underneath my eye, but then I quickly noticed it doesn't even matter. My face was already covered with eyeshadow, so I just applied it all over the eyelid. And then I went in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Eyeliner, which is one of my favorites to use in combination with gel eyeliner. It makes it super matte black, as you can see. The difference is really nice, and it will just cover up some of the glitter that has fallen on my eyeliner. So this will just make it look super neat. Then again, I went in with the matte white color that we used earlier just kind of touching it up. Then I went in with the Makeup Forever Aqua, I don't know what the name is, but I'll make sure to link it in the description bar. It's my current favorite pencil for in the waterline. It's super nice, black and pigmented. So using this in my waterline to make it really black and smoky. And then I went in with a Sigma Beauty flat definer brush and pressing black eyeshadow underneath the lower lash line as tight as possible against my lash line. So the black eyeshadow kind of connects with the black pencil in the waterline and it just looks super smoky. 
Then I used this grayish color to blend out my lower lash line and I just smudged and smudged and blended until I was happy with how it looked. You can apply as much as you like, um, but I felt like after blending this, it looked quite good. So of course, everything I did on one eye, I also do at the other eye. And then I went in with more of the wet eye, wet eye, what am I saying? The white eyeshadow to make it pop even more. Then I curled my lashes and it was time for mascara. I used the Hypnose Lancome Mascara, the L'Absolu de Noir. Probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's my current favorite mascara and I'm using this to apply mascara, basically. <laughs> then after this, I'm gonna go in with some lashes. These are from Swati and they're called Tansan. I can't see the name anymore, but again, link down in the description bar. Super pretty, absolutely love this lash style. And then here you have the finished result. I absolutely love this eye look. I would want to wear this every day, to be honest. It's one of my favorite cool tones, cool tone looks that I've filmed. I hope you guys like it as well. There will be a golden look coming up very soon as well. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. If you do wear it for the holidays, don't forget to tag me or send me a picture on Instagram. I would love to see you guys wear it. And yeah, I just want to say thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. If you try, you wouldn't understand it Maybe something's missing inside of you Just a bit of sugar